Hey YouTube, JP from Oracle Reptiles here. Man, I've got a treat for you guys today. Come and have a look at my new arrivals. These are rough scaled death adders from Australia, Northern Australia. Um, they distributed through Northern Australia into Irinjaya area of Meraki. They are ambush hunters um, by nature. And if you look very, very carefully at the tip of their tail, you can see that brightly colored tip over there. They use that for caudal luring, where they will lie in ambush under a branch or a bush and wait for a prey animal in hatchlings or neonates like this that would include lizards and skinks and in adults it will include rodents such as rats and mice. They will use that tail, move it very very slowly um, to mimic a worm and then when something is within striking distance they will strike out and bite um, catching the animal. They have a potent neurotoxic venom. Sorry this one's getting a bit cheeky. They have a potent neurotoxic venom okay which if left untreated can cause complete collapse of the the respiratory system within six hours so they are very very venomous death adders give live birth and the young measure between 13 and 19 centimeters All right these here are about 13 to 15 centimeters long okay the adults get to about 60 or 70 centimeters some of them are slightly bigger, up to about 80, 85, depending on the species or the subspecies. In captivity, their caging requirements are they need a hot spot of around 30 to 32 degrees. Belly heat or top heat is, is acceptable. Um, and even though they come from a relatively arid area, they do require a permanent source of water. Okay, They will find water. Some of the literature you read will tell you that you just need to spray them. They don't drink from water bottles or water bowls. They do. They require a water bowl at all times in their cage. And um, yeah, they are relatively hardy and not too difficult to breed, but obviously not for inexperienced keepers. Death adders are thought to be amongst the fastest striking snakes of the world, which is quite handy for an ambush hunter. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and like the videos and we'll see you very soon.